Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. As you can see, there's been 83 earthquakes in the last week in the Ventura County area. Lucy Jones, a seismologist, says there's uh, probably an unmapped fault line that has recently been reactivated. All these earthquakes indicate that pressure is building. Here we can see uh, yesterday at 2.9. 2.0, a 2.3, a 2.8, another 2.3, a 2.1, a lot of twos, a 2.4, that was on the 8th, that was yesterday, 2.1, a 2.5, uh, what else we got here, a 3.2, a 3.6, uh, for the largest first, that would be the 3.6 yesterday, there was a 3.4 on the 7th, a 3.2 on the 7th. Now they're saying that these earthquakes all started because of the 3.6, but if you look at the time, um, then that would make this 3.4 a foreshock. That would have been, oh, 7.05 Central Daylight Time, uh, 5.05 on Thursday. Then the next day they had the 3.6. Um, just before dawn um, Friday morning How many of you that live there have taken the tsunami warning signs serious? You know, they don't put the signs up just for the fun of it the fact that there could be a devastating tsunami out there in the uh, Santa Barbara Channel is very real the last time this area had earthquake swarms was in 2015 and 1984. Neither of those um, preceded a, a major earthquake afterwards. But yeah, earthquake swarms in this area are very uncommon. Seismologists have noticed that large earthquakes in this area happen between every 400 to 2,400 years. The last major earthquake was 800 years ago. There's two fault lines. One is the uh, Petus Point Fault that runs out here in the ocean. And the other one, which is uh, Red Rock, I think, or Red Mountain Fault Line. Probably named after this. But both of those are capable of creating a um, devastating earthquake and a tsunami. The Los Angeles Times uh, posted an article saying they thought a magnitude 8 earthquake was capable in this area you know instead of downplaying the threat they should take the opportunity to make people more aware and to be prepared on their own in, ca in case something major happens so the question is why don't they want people to be prepared so often in the past we've seen how devastating earthquakes or hurricanes tornadoes you know um those life-threatening situations it takes what seems like forever for help to arrive so why are they downplaying the threat like I said why don't they take the opportunity to educate people to be prepared on their own what are your thoughts put your comments down below please subscribe please thumbs up my videos please stay safe and I'll talk to you later God bless you bye